Hi everybody, good morning. Well, for the next six weeks, we're going to be speaking about purpose in our daily devotionals. And at the very beginning of our quest for purpose, you and I have to settle the truth that we were created for purpose. You know, Genesis 1.27 says God created us, and because He created us, we need to find out what He created us for. There's no guesswork involved because God just loves to tell us what we're on this earth for. In Genesis 1, we see a purpose for God making creation with an end purpose. The world He makes is going somewhere. Because on day 7 of creation, God takes His seat upon the throne of the world He created. In the very first five days of creation, God commands, let there be. But on the sixth day, He says, let us make. Talking about you and me as people. He says, let us make them in our image. And in His image means we represent God as His instruments, as His stewards of His creation. In the 4th century, August, Augustine wrote, God without us will not, we without God cannot. You know, with all our warts and pimples, God's plan is that you and I become His co-workers. In 2 Corinthians 6 verse 1, the Apostle Paul writes as God's partners. And it's where we reflect God's wisdom and goodness and truth to the people around us. And we do that by the way we live, by the way we act, and by the way, by the way we speak. But reflecting on our foundational scripture for this, this series, Ephesians 2 verse 10, where Paul writes, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so that we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. We see here that God created us, and what's more, didn't leave us to do our own thing, but planned things for us to do. You could say, God had already planned and set our purpose in place, we just need to get with his program but it all starts with him whenever you see something and wonder what on earth it's for the best person to tell you what it's for is the person who made it why then do we want to look everywhere else except to God for what he created us for as a start in this series this morning I want to ask you to press pause on your morning and speak to the Lord ask him to reveal his purpose for you over these next six weeks I encourage you, set aside time every day. Watch, listen, read and pray. And get to our Sunday meetings. And if that's impossible, then listen, then listen to our Sunday message, which will be posted on our website every Monday. Do this, and I can promise you, you will not regret it. God has purpose for you and I. And in His purposes, we will find life and satisfaction, contentment and fulfillment. I really am looking for these next six weeks that you and I are going to spend together. Amen. I pray that God would bless you today and I look forward to continuing on this purpose journey with you tomorrow.